Hi guys, I'm playing World Robot Frontiers on Steam Deck. When I go to properties, controller, enable Steam input. I'm gonna go to the gamepad itself. Right. Um, Want to see if it's got mine? No, it doesn't have my setup. It's saying using a uh, keyboard W A S D and mouse right i need to enable this on my uh my other i'll show you what i'm using i've got one called wr and then space fr that's what robots frontiers so i'm using ds for windows and i want to see if mine actually works better i can also set this to ps5 which will be the xbox uh sorry the game the playstation gamepad uh, to work on um, War Robots Frontiers. So let's see where this gets me. And see where I can get to. I pressed play, didn't I? Ah, there we go. It's loading. I do play this game on medium graphics. some reason my controller has not been recognized so i'm going to change this to ps5 i've changed the profile and i think now yeah it's still not been recognized i'm going to disconnect my Jusen's controller reconnect the cable and see if that works I mean, the DS phone is recognizing it, but uh, the, the game is not recognizing my gamepad. So what I have to do now is I have to restart the game. I mean, I can't play it like this. If it's not recognizing the Jusen's controller and then I start playing the game, it's not going to work properly. So I need to come in here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to properties, uh, to controller, and then I'm going to disable, uh, disable Steam input. You see, I'm, I've disabled all this. So what's enabled is just Steam Controller and Remote Play. Why I've done this? Because it's not recognizing my uh, P my PS5 uh, DualSense controller, which is this one. You can see that's got the white lights. It is actually connected. It's not recognizing the game controller. So I've had to dis disable the Steam input because when I was trying to play the game, like, okay, for example, I'm trying to change the because in settings you can change the, the the you know you can change the stuff just by tapping these top ones here you know you can change the menu settings and i mean the menu items and i'm trying to test it you see it's now working see works now so now that's working you see see this is the controller the top one look you see it's working now so now i can actually play a game you see i'm using the gamepad that's what i'm showing you guys i'm using the gamepad it's not working if i had played it that time it would, uh, it would be just like mouse and keyboard which is something i don't do i i like playing with a gamepad so i have to make sure the gamepad's working first i'm playing this game on medium graphics uh the details are all there if you check on the description of the video everything's there
Right, this robot has got two organs. You do not need a target in front of it. It's got two vortex. It does require a target. I think this is domination. This is a Fury robot. Um, the special ability it has is to reload its weapons. Like all of its weapons. So I'm using jump and thrust. I'm jumping upwards and then using thrust to move forward. I told you guys if you don't have thrust enabled on this game, it's going to be very difficult for you to play. It. Because if you're being attacked by robots, and uh, those robots have the upper hand over you. Wow. Got annihilated. Uh, this one is um, Raven. A Raven robot, but the bottom part I think is uh, Bulwark. It's got two rampants. Rampants are uh grenade launchers and i think it's got two for uh, two um all cans which are rocket launchers right so in domination whatever team has the most uh beacons wins the game uh this game is basically plug and play uh when i say plug and play i mean it recognizes the Jules controller uh, as I stated, my Xbox controller is not um, connected or paired properly with uh, either my laptop or Steam Deck. It'll be something I have to do later on. Nice one. Uh, whenever you do something like destruction or destroying a robot, your pilot will speak. If you take over a beacon, the pilot will speak. If you destroy more than one uh, robot, your pilot will speak. Damn. I'm surrounded by too many of these robots. Wow, I got destroyed. Yeah, that robot is a Fury robot and it's got uh, three Zeus weapons. Zeus weapons are like um, energy weapons. Right, this one is a happy robot. It's got, I'm trying to look at the weapons, it's got two shredders, those are machine guns, and the top weapons are vortex weapons, I think. No, 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 they're not vortex, they are sound weapons, they're scatter. They're scatter weapons, but they use sound. The sound can travel through, um, the sound can travel through the, um, uh, the sound can travel through the walls and cause a lot of damage. See, so I'm attacking him with sound and with, um, wow. When your Titan is ready, the pilot will tell you, will speak. I don't know who's hitting me. But I need to hide. Right, so he's attacking my... attacking my team member and I'm getting hit by too many people too many robots are attacking me right the next one is a Fafnir this is a Fafnir robot shoulders are Fafnir torso is Fafnir and chassis is Fafnir it's all uh, Fafnir. Uh, let me look at the top weapon. What's the top one? Uh, flamethrower. It's called a lighter and two scatter weapons. Those are uh, uh, sound weapons. So this game is playing off the Steam Deck directly. I'm not streaming this game. And this game does work on uh, medium settings. And sharpness should be set to 100%.
That's strange. <laughs> the game crashed. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. That's sad. Very sad. I mean, I can always test it again, but um, I mean, I know it, too, it's, it works. So I, I don't know what may have caused the crash. Right, so the next game I'm going to be testing, guys, is uh, War Robots. <laughs> 